Welcome! This is a Zoids build review of the Terramander. And here are the parts you get. And here is a quick look at the manual. Very detailed, very easy to follow. The parts in green, as you can see, are the parts you're working on. So it's very clear what to do. And let's take a look at the parts. Here you get the pilots and some stickers which I probably will not apply. Now you get these soft rubber caps and here is the A plate which is the cannon that mounts on the back of the Zoid and here are the missiles that go into that cannon. Here is the C plate which contains the blue plastic housing that goes around the motor as well as the feet for the Zoid. Here is the D plate, which contains the tail pieces, as well as parts of the head and lower jaw. Here is the E plate, which contains one wing. And here is the F plate, which is parts for the other wing. And finally we get to the G plate. It contains the frame that goes around the motor. And here is the motor itself. You can see through the plastic has gears. Very nice. On the bottom is the battery cover. It contains a single AA battery. There is the motor. Now here is the first step. What we're going to do here is we're putting together the blue pieces which are kind of like a housing that surround the motor. And they don't actually snap together. Uh, as you'll see in the next step here, there are actually some three pieces. And these pieces slide over key locations on the frame. And they lock in place securely. The build time on this was roughly about, I would say, an hour. It's hard to judge because I was stopping to film this, but I would say if you just did it nonstop, it would take you about an hour. And there you go, the final sliding piece. And here is the attachment of the lower jaw to the head. I've already assembled the head off camera. And you can see I'm using one of those soft rubber caps that secure the two pieces together. Now we're moving on to assembling the neck. And as you see here, it shows you the number corresponding to the number of the instruction on the, in the manual. So you can tell which part you're supposed to use. And here is the look at inside what the neck is going to do once we assemble everything. Once again, the pieces are snapped together real nicely. But to secure them, of course, we're going to use one of those soft rubber caps. Now, those caps, once they're on, they stay on pretty well. Uh, in certain cases, when I had to redo a section, I actually had to try and remove those plastic caps. And, and certain ones were hard to remove. So they are actually uh, very secure and secure the parts together very nicely. As you can see, nice and tight. Moving on to the frame, or you might want to think about this as an exoskeleton. This frame is a key component. As you can see, it's labeled 12L, L being the left side, so you can't mess it up. You've got the parts labeled very nicely, as you can see. Now, this is the part of the frame that's going to tie together all the actual motor functions. So as the motor goes, this frame is going to move, as we'll see later in the review. But just putting more caps on here. And we'll see in a second here how this moves. I'll just do it manually and show you. I kind of think of it as a frame or an exoskeleton, if you will. As you can see, the plastic is very nicely detailed and molded. And here's how it works. All right, now we're going to attach the neck and head to the main body. It just slides on a groove and locks in place very nicely as you can see there. 
All right, so this single piece of plastic here is going to tie together four posts, as you can see. It's going to slide over those four posts. As you can see, I already put on the other side of the frame, so the two frames were installed already. I installed those off camera, and now you can see I'm just putting that single plastic piece that goes over the top of those four posts and of course they are going to be secured very nicely with those plastic caps. Like so. And here's how that works once everything's together. Now there is a spring included, included which is pretty interesting and you can see it gets covered up with a cover alright so this is the beginning process of assembling one of the legs Once again, we'll use our plastic cap here, and it ties everything else together very nicely. Now I'm going to attach one of the feet and secure it with a plastic cap. And here is the other portion of the leg it simply snaps in place and then is securely fastened by two poly caps not poly caps but uh, caps I keep wanting to call them poly caps because of my Gundam model building experience so those caps are there and now we're going to attach the leg to the body and just more pieces go together here as you can see now that I've got both legs installed and here are the beginnings of the tail assembly you can see they go together quite nicely All right, so finally we're going to attach the final two pieces to complete the tail section of this Zoid. And once they're all together, they're very nicely articulated, as you can see there. All right, so we're going to attach that tail to the main body. It slides into place, and it's going to go on at kind of an angle, as you can see and there's some plastic pieces at the rear that kind of push against the tail and make the tail actuate uh, which I'll probably show you in the full review of this particular Zoid. Alright so now we're going to assemble one of the wings. Now you gotta put, you gotta start with the, well you can assemble the wings in any order but once you put them on the main body it has to go in, in a certain order. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second here. Once again, tying together with two caps. And here is how the wing actuates. Very nice. Okay, so what you want to do, once you've got both wings assembled, you want to attach the right wing first. And it actually attaches in two places. There's actually a pin that slips through in one of the locations and gets topped off by a, poly, or a cap. As you can see the pin goes through and the cap goes in place. And here goes the left wing on that central post there that both wings share in common. And the central post gets a poly cap to secure the wing 
on the back of the Zoid. Once again, you have that pin. This time it's going through the left wing. And another, another cap goes on. Now, this is an important piece in order to get the wings to move as the Zoid is moving. It attaches the wing to the main frame, as you can see. When the frame moves, the wings will move in tandem, as you can see there. Well, thanks for watching this build review of the Terabander. Uh, I appreciate your, your attention, and hopefully some of you found this interesting. I'm going to have the full review of this particular Zoid coming up soon. It's not going to be very long. It's not going to be as long as this build review. But I thought some of you might be curious to see how one goes together.